Antwerp is Belgium's biggest harbor and Europe's second largest seaport. Located at the mouth of the Skelt River, the origins of Antwerp's name are unclear. Some say it stems from Antwerp or At the Wharf. Others claim it's from Antwerp, the alluvial mound where early settlers lived. Then there's the legend of Brabo, dating back to the 15th century. A hero named Brabo lopped off the hand of a giant and threw it into the sea, creating the mouth of the Skelt. This Handwerpen, or hand-throwing, became Antwerpen, or Antwerp. Even today, the symbol of the hand appears repeatedly in Antwerp. The town is also known as a center of the global diamond trade. The art of gem cutting still takes place behind closed doors. Artworks abound. This statue of Peter Paul Rubens remembers the Flemish painter who had a studio here. Rubens runs in our blood here in Antwerp. The remarkable man lived here. It already became a tourist attraction in his lifetime. The Rubens Museum is located in his former home. Some of the Flemish master's paintings, as well as his private collection of works by his contemporaries, can be seen here. But there are many more museums in Antwerp. Some of them have recently been relocated together in a new building near the port. It's called the Museum an der Strom, or Maas for short. The Maas is a new museum about the city of Antwerp, the port of Antwerp, and the connections uh, with all different corners of the world uh, through the port of Antwerp. Visiting and permanent exhibitions about the history of the port are shown on the museum's eight levels. Apart from the items on display, some 470,000 items from maritime history are stored here. The large windows give visitors a view of the tall ships that anchor here from time to time. Antwerp is also firmly on the fashion map, with all of the big brands represented here. Fashion and design looms large all over the city. Here, for example, at Granmarkt 13. This is a kind of open house. On this floor you have uh, the shop where you can buy clothes, but also objects. Changing exhibitions of internationally renowned art are held on the first floor. There's also a gourmet restaurant in the basement. Creative types tend to collect just outside Antwerp's tourist center. German designer Anja Schwerbroch is among those who found a niche in Antwerp. You've got one pool that's really chic and another that's really alternative. I'm somewhere between one of these niches. She makes clothes for children and adults. So how did she start? You start somehow making the first items from your grandmother's old sheets. And honestly, that's how it started. Antwerp has long been a European capital of fashion. The Antwerp Fashion Museum, or MOMU, gives visitors a look at the long history of the city's creative relationship to clothing and those who long to wear the latest designs. Antwerp's architecture also draws visitors from around the globe. They enjoy relaxing in the city's many cafes. And Antwerp isn't just a port city, it is also home to one of Europe's most beautiful railway stations.